Hi, Dave Smith here, DJS Photography. I'm hoping that uh, you will be able to see the images on the ground glass from this setup. We talked last time about uh, getting this whole setup uh, focused using the shine fluke principle. Uh, I wasn't able to show the image on the ground glass at that time, and now I've come back to it, and I've I, th I think we I think we can get some pretty good idea of how well focused these are. Uh, I just wanted to make one uh, further comment about the shine fluke. You you might recall from the previous video that I'd said that these three planes, the subject plane, the lens plane, and the back plane, the image plane, all need to meet at a point, and these three meet kind of out here somewhere. Uh, and I said that I had swung the back very slightly. Now, swinging the back will change the geometry of your subject. Um, so, uh, circles become ovals, for example. It's why uh, tilting the back uh, deals with converging verticals in architecture. Uh, and that might not be uh, very uh, useful. That might not be what you want. Now the reason I did it, the reason I just and I just needed a very tiny movement on the back, maybe only three or four degrees, I would guess. And I, the reason I did it was to reduce the amount of swing I needed to use on the lens. If I left the back, then if the back is square on, as it were, its plane goes out there somewhere. So that and it's going to meet that subject plane over here. So it does mean that the lens plane needs to swing even further. Anyway. Uh, I hope the uh, the images work out. I hope you do get to see what's on the ground glass. And I have to say, if you haven't got a 10 by 8 camera uh, yet and you're thinking about getting one, one of the real joys is seeing those images on the ground glass, on this 10 by 8 glass and how the light shines through. Uh, let me know if you do get one. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Okay, so I have no idea at the moment whether you'll be able to hear this but this is the view on the ground glass screen and that's the rightmost rows as I look at it and I'm just going to pan the camera around I hope so that we can see the rest of those uh, rows so there is the middle one and I think I think you can see that that's nicely focused as well. And if I pan a little bit more, I think. Yep, there we go. There's the uh, there's the furthest rows, and you can see the structure and sharpness in that as well. So I hope that for those people who are hoping to see an image on the ground glass screen, that that kind of makes my point about the three rows has been nicely sharply uh, focused and there's that third one 